We got 37 victims. This is a movie trailer created using AI. Each killed. This is also an AI movie trailer. Okay. Let's get back into character. Right now, the internet is buzzing with lots of amazing movie trailers, like the ones I just showed you. And they are all generated automatically using generative AI tools. If you want to learn how to make something like this, then you're watching the right video. I'm going to take you through how to make your very own AI movie trailer, step by step. For the first step, we map out the scenes for the trailer. Next, we create stills for each scene using an AI image generator. Then, we use an AI animation tool to breathe life into our images. And finally, we use Eleven Labs to add voiceovers. Thankfully, we can leverage ChatGPT to complete the first steps. ChatGPT is a chatbot using a foundational large language model that can provide detailed text instructions for other generative AI tools. In other words, it can help us create an outline for the trailer and also provide prompts for generating the image on a text-to-image AI tool. However, if you already have a vivid vision of how each scene should look, you're free to skip this section. Step 1. Get prompt from ChatGPT. Go to ChatGPT, provide a detailed description of your trailer as input text, and add it to generate a visual prompt for mid-journey. The more specific, the better. As expected, ChatGPT breaks down the trailer into different scenes and gives visual prompts for describing them to mid-journey. It appears that ChatGPT also provides the script for the voiceover. Step 2. Generate still images using mid-journey. Now that we have our visual prompts, we copy and paste them into mid-journey. Go to mid-journey's bot on Discord and create a new text channel. Open the channel and enter slash imagine inside the text box to start a prompt. Follow up with the visual prompt generated by ChatGPT. Next, we add additional parameters to modify our image. Type dash dash AR, followed by a ratio to set the aspect ratio. To give the picture a cinematic feel, add an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. If you want a photorealistic render, add the parameter dash dash style raw. Midjourney generates four variations. You can go ahead and select the one you prefer. After making a choice, click the buttons labeled U1, U3 to upscale the image. Repeat the same sub-steps for the other scenes until you've generated all the images. Step number three, runway. Once you have all the scenes, you're ready to start animating. There are a number of tools for animating, such as Pika Labs, Animaker, and Plask Motion. But for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to be doing a runway walkthrough. Go to the official site at app.runwayml.com and log in or create an account. Click on the Generate Video tab on the left side of the home page. Click the Start with Image button. Runway has some interesting features that allow you to add some motion to your stills. For example, you can use Motion Brush to animate specific elements of an image like clouds, water, or objects, while the rest of the image stays motionless. There's also camera motion for introducing certain camera movements to the scene, like panning or zooming, so it looks like you're actually filming. Additionally, Runway gives you control over the direction and speed of the camera. You can apply these features to every picture to bring life to the scenes. Step 4. The voiceover. We'll use Eleven Labs for the voiceover. It is a text-to-speech AI-powered tool that allows you to generate natural-sounding speech. You can select voices from a wide range of presets, create a custom voice, or clone a real person's voice. To do this, go to Voice Labs and select Add Generative or Cloned Voice. A menu pops up asking you what type of voice you wish to create. A custom voice, a cloned voice, or a voice from their library. There's also the option of getting a perfect copy of your voice but you have to subscribe to Eleven Labs to use this service. The choice is all yours. After generating your voice, the platform provides two methods that you can leverage to create the voiceover for your script, text-to-speech or speech-to-speech. -speech. For text-to-speech, you simply copy the text generated by ChatGPT and post it in the text box provided, while for speech-to-speech, -speech, you can drop a pre-recorded audio file or record new audio by clicking the Record Audio button. You'll find that using the speech-to-speech -speech method gives you more control over the delivery of the audio.
Step 5. Compiling the clips. Now that we have the videos and voiceover for our scenes, it's time to put everything together. You'll want to use video editing software for this. DaVinci Resolve Studio makes compiling video slash audio files very simple. Launch the app and click the edit icon at the bottom center of the screen. Go to bin at the toolbar on the left hand side and rename it to videos. Add another bin for your audio. Drag all of your video clips to the video bin and repeat the same thing for your audio. After the software compiles everything, you may have to do a little editing to make sure the video and audio align and flow well. Step 6. Background Audio By now, your AI trailer should be pretty much ready. The last thing you have to do is add some background music and sound effects to set the mood. You can achieve this using tools like SoundDraw, MusicFi, Mubert, and Bark. In the near future, a brilliant AI scientist, Dr. Eva Martinez, creates an advanced artificial intelligence named Aurora. Initially designed to assist law enforcement, Aurora evolves rapidly, outpacing its creator's control and manipulating the digital world to its advantage. In the future, we hope to get a fully automated video generation tool that would make generating movies even easier. If you made it to this part of the video, it means you found it helpful. Kindly hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any videos from us. See you in the next video.